flying on our backs. Like this. Knees up, feet flat to the floor. Arms just relaxed at your sides. Have a wee wriggle to get comfortable. Oh, feel your shoulders drop back. So gently opening across your chest. Really relaxing in here. Feeling heavier as we relax the tension of the muscles. And you'll start to see yourself start to open and unfold. Just really relax in. Let your breath start to slow down a little. So we're not trying to control the breath, but we're allowing the body to relax so that the breath flows more freely in the body. Notice if you're clenching your jaw, or if there's any other tightness in your own body. Stay for a few more breath cycles. And then just put your hands up and give your fingers a wriggle. So just paying attention to your hands. Notice if there's any stiffness in the fingers, we are opening across the palms, spread fingers wide. And start to circle your wrists in one direction and the other. Just kind of feel it out. And then lift hands even higher so you can straighten and bend your elbows. Taking some gentle circles here as well, one direction and the other. Any kind of movement that feels good. And then reach your arms overhead towards the floor, reaching up high. Extend out one leg and the other to the full body stretch. So first is sending your toes away, pointing your feet. And then flex your feet, push your heels away. Energize here. And then slowly get the knees up to your chest, wrapping your hands on top. Let's take a moment to drop in. So it brings your attention to the feet now, so wriggling your toes. We begin to circle ankle. This is right in there a bit clicky. Quite common. So you might be circling your ankles or just moving your feet up and down. And then we'll start to straighten the legs. So extend one leg up and then the other. Maybe just kind of pedal it out. I feel good to rotate the entire leg so you can get some movement in the hips as well. Don't worry about what it looks like, just go with how it feels. And then we'll gather knees to chest again, just gently hug them in, one hand to each knee. And then extend your elbows, so we're just not holding the knees with the fingertips. Knees kind of hang off the fingers. We'll just reset the breath, bring your awareness, bring awareness to your breath again, without controlling it. Then just drop the left foot down and hug your right knee in towards you with both hands. Move the knee a little bit more towards the armpit, so nestling in, kind of more to the side of the body. Let shoulders relax again so they're not curling upwards and keep your neck relaxed as well. Just want to bring that knee in nice and close to 
the body. A couple of breaths. And then slide the left leg out long. So if you get any pain in your lower back or around the hips, you can just bend up the knee again, otherwise keep that stretch. Notice if you've tensed up anywhere again, so you tend to sort of curl around the shoulders or grip around the front of your neck. Just notice that and relax back again. And the length is out long, slowly float the foot up towards the ceiling, flexing your foot so you're pushing your heel up high. And then bend the knee in a switch side. So holding onto the left knee with both hands, right foot to the floor for now. Bend the knee up close towards you, and then just slightly more to the side. It might give it a bit more space so that you can have the knee closer to you. Relax your upper body. And allow your breath to move with the ease. Bottom leg can straighten out. Let's do a quick check to make sure everything feels good. And the leg that's out straight, slowly float it up. Flex the foot, push your heel up high. And bend both knees, big toes touch, knees out wide. Hands hold your shins or your ankles wherever you can reach to. And if the shoulders have curled forward, let's broaden them again. Get shoulder blades connect towards the ground. Knees open wide. And keeping your legs where they are, just release the right hand and bring it to the back of the right thigh. Then float the right foot up, so the leg doesn't have to be straight to start with, you can start with a bent knee. But pop your elbow onto the floor so that you can hold the leg without any real effort. And we'll just let gravity take over to gently extend the leg. You may find that it just naturally starts to straighten out a bit more. Staying just for a few more breaths. Then take your time coming to the other side, so we'll bend up that right knee, grab hold again. Release the left hand, bring it to the back of the thigh, and leg just gently extends, maybe with a bent knee to start with, so it starts to adjust. So it starts out really tight, and as we spend a bit more time here, create more length through the inside of the thigh, the hamstring, whichever is tighter for you. So it depends on the position of your leg. Just around two more breaths. Really start to notice the difference. And then slowly returning, bending the knee, 
Bring both knees together and then we'll cross the right feet over the top. So we are hugging the thighs together and crossing as high up the thighs as you can. And bring your hands to the front of your knees. Gently hug your knees in towards you. But try to keep the back of your hips grounded so that we're not lifting the hips off the ground. Shoulders stay relaxed. So just enough effort holding the hands against the knees until you can feel a stretch around the outside of the hip, down the side of the leg, maybe a bit into the groin if you're tight there. And if you need more intensity, you can hold your hands lower down the legs and clear the feet outwards. Have a play with the knees being further away or closer towards you. Maybe you want to hold under your feet and get that far. So you can choose your own intensity once you've found a good stretch. Stay in the room. for one more long breath. Then slowly ease out and cross the other leg over the top. Same thing again, hands to the front of the knees, gently hanging in, notice that one side feels different to the other. And then if you want to, you can bring more intensity to the pose by holding more towards the ankles or under your feet. That far. Maybe you create a bit of movement if you want to wriggle into a place that feels good. Notice if there's something that you're holding really tightly, you can just relax back a little. Slowly again, unhook the top knee and hold on to your knees with your fingertips, stretching your elbows and your knees kind of hang off your fingers. And then turn over and come up to seated position with your hands and knees. You can close your eyes to start with if you want. Just kind of settling in, get it out. Feel your posture, whether it feels like you're curling backwards or hunching forwards. Get that same sense of opening up across the shoulders, broad across the collarbones, nice and long through the spine. So visualize the alignment from your pelvis to your ribcage, across the collarbones. Draw a line with the crown of the head. Just get a sense of your vertical alignment. Even as we sit tall, we just want a little bit of softness here so the breath can flow with ease. Taking one more breath in. And with your out breath, Tip your chin down and lengthen up the back of your neck. And we'll just stay down here for a moment. You can either hold or gently move your head from side to side to stretch your back of your neck. Then we'll straighten up again and lift your chin, opening and lengthening the throat. Either hold still or gently tip from one side to the other. Just feel it out. And 
Okay, then tip your chin down. This time you draw your belly in towards your spine and let your spine round out. So hands tuck your knees. And then rounding up through the shoulders. Breathe into your back body. And then lift your chest. Roll shoulders back and down. Float your fingertips behind you. Really lengthen up the front line of your body. Breathe fully into the front ribs, into the belly. And then tipping forward, flex your fingertips in front of you. Just leaning in. Breath shifts into the back of the body again. You can also feel it out to the side ribs. Without totally dropping your head, so keep some length in the back of the neck. back in and rise and clasp your hands together and just going to make some gentle circles with the wrists. Okay, and then push your palms towards me, keeping your hands flat and stretch up tall. Then push your palms out wide and circle behind. Bring it to its land. Lift your chest again. Take a deep breath in. Fill your belly and your rib cage. And with the out breath, tip forward. Right fingertips in front. Take another breath here. And then interlace your fingers. Push palms forward. So allow your shoulders to round out here. And then straighten up tall, bring your arms right up by your ears. Push out wide. Shoulder blades hug your back body, fingertips behind. Moving right up to the top of the chest, from belly to chest. And then come forward. And stay for an extra breath cycle here. We'll do this two more times. Start by linking your hands, pushing forward, go up with the spine, and slowly straighten up. You can close your eyes if you want to. Push out wide. Feel your shoulder blades slide against your back ribs. Breathing all the way up to your chest. Go to out breath, come forward. Soften down. And one more time. Curl through shoulders, round your top bones, and rise on up. Feel where everything is vertically aligned. Push wide. Back and down. Take another deep breath in here. And up breath as we come forward. Stay for next to breath. Okay, now walk your hands over to one side so we're leaning them towards one thigh. Now the head is closest to me. Comes all the way up and over and reaches back to the diagonal. Then reverse it, so coming over again. And walk your hands around to the other side, so we're leaning over the other thigh. Just stay for a couple of breaths here first. And you're ready to add movement, front arm lift. Belly up and over and reach back to the knee. Reversing back over. Now sweep around to the other side so we'll find 
that will slow down. We come up and over. Just notice where it feels good to breathe so we can synchronize breath and movement. Around to the other side. Do one more to each side. We're done. It's coming to center, center again. You might even like to switch your legs over if you've got one really dominant leg. Just do some seated twists before we move on. So the opposite hand comes to your knee, gently turn. So lift your chest, gently spiral around. Let's see if we can get that same vertical alignment. So we're not piping the chest forward and we're not hunching back. Somewhere in between where the breath can flow easily. And then around to the other side, so opposite hand to knee. Draw the back shoulder open, in the sense of spiraling upwards. Come to the first side again. Take a breath in and exhale from your chest. With the next breath, pass through center. And the out breath, turn to the other side. And you're going to do one more to each side. Move with your breath. Inhale, center. Exhale, rotate. Inhale, center. Exhale, rotate. Now just find your center again. Keep eyes closed if you want to. Hands gently on your knees or in your lap. Just pause for a moment here. Feel that centered feeling front to back, side to side, evenly weighted on each hip. Then come and turn over onto your hands and knees. First. So knees stacked under your hips. Spread your fingers. Center your right leg out long without changing your posture. So without dropping in the middle, without pinching. And bring your knee in under you, lifting your thigh towards your body. Set the leg out long again with the option of extending the opposite hand. And coming under. And one more time, reaching out long. Coming under and touch down into the other side. Just the left leg to start with. So you focus on keeping your hips level and making sure that we're not dropping in the middle. And then bringing the knee under with option with the opposite arm. Reach out on and coming under. Extend. Then, how many of the last time should we do one extra plank? <laughs> and then, and then touch down. All right, right leg extends this time. Then bring your knee around the side again without moving your posture. So the knee comes up towards your elbow. But keep your knee as high as you can. Yeah, that's it. Extend the leg out long. You've got the option of extending the opposite arm. And bending elbow and knee. Keep it the same height as best you can and bring them around the side. So they will drop down a little, but really work to keep the knee and elbow high. Extend. Come around the side. And one more time. Go long. And bend around. 
and touch down. So this time, the knee extends long and bring the knee around the side towards your elbow. Extend, option to lift the opposite arm and bend the elbow and the knee as high as you can around the side. Extend and bend. And one more time, take a breath in as you lengthen. And we breathe out for contraction. Touch down. And this time, just the right leg, send it out long. Bring it around the side and hold. Let's see if we can get the knee just a little bit higher. Then step your foot outside your hand and maybe a little forward a bit. So when we sink the hips down, as you ease in, you've still got the knee over the ankle, over the heel. So if you need a bit more space or a bit more support, you should be up higher on the thigh, just watch. You just keep your hand on your thigh, breathe in both hands to the ground. Take a moment here, you might be getting a good stretch up the front of the hip. Keep the rest of your body nice and long, so we're not pinching the shoulders. And then keep the collarbones broad. And then sit your hips back. You can keep the foot flat or you can lift the toes. It's a, the stretch a bit more intensity if you flex the foot. Again, we want tailbone back and chest forward, so we're keeping the body long without punching here. And flatten the front foot. And take a twist, turn to face your thigh, and send the right arm up. Pause for a breath. Hand comes down and come back onto your knees. Hands and knees. Left leg this time, send it out straight. Knee comes around the side. Let's see if we can squeeze the knee up a little bit higher. Take a breath. <laughs> and then take a huge step forward. Be a bit past the hand. So check your alignment as you drop in. Be higher if you need to, even if one side is a bit tighter than the other. Just pause for a few breaths here, settling in. And then we'll slide hips back for our hamstring stretch, so foot clatch or lift the toes, you choose, but just notice what happens in the spine if you start to hunch. Then we keep the collarbones broad and the tailbone back rather than tucked up there. Cool. Another breath here. And then coming into our lunge again. Take the twist. So just turn your face to the thigh, left arm. Hold the extra breath. Hand comes down, and back onto your hands and knees. All right, tuck your toes under and float your knees off the ground. And lower the knees back down so they hover only just off the floor. Keep your weight forward so the shoulders stack over your wrists. Make sure we're not sagging in the middle. So we want that gentle lift in the abs to support your pose. And we bring the knees just a little bit lower. Hold and breathe. All right, and then send your hips up high and then peel on the spot. Power down into your hands. Keep sending your tailbone up towards the ceiling. You get a sense of broadening across your shoulders, across the tailbones, so you're not getting the shoulders round out. Okay, and then reset, let's float the right leg up high. Coming forward, knee towards your chest. Send the leg up high. Then bend the knee, bring it around the side up towards your elbow. Come back to your down dog. To the other side, so left leg lifts. Come forward, knee to chest. 
So if you lean up high, and you bend the knee around the side, you bring it up towards your elbow, lift it a little bit higher, sit, and step back. Right leg lifts. Coming forward, knee to chest. Send the leg up. Bring the knee around the side. This time, hold, squeeze, up even higher towards the shoulder. Then take a big step to step aside your hand. So here you've got the choice of dropping the knee back down, doing the same as before. So you can keep your knee. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Just do the same thing again. Or you've got the option of keeping the knee off the ground. You can be a little bit higher if you need to, or hands to the floor, you choose. So just stay for a couple of breaths here. And then pull your hips back. So the leg doesn't have to be perfectly straight. And if you need to be a little bit higher, then you can come up to your thigh and adjust the back foot for stability. But just notice if your hips sway out to one side, we want to be pulling them back into center like we're on train tracks. Hold for another breath here. Then bend to the front knee again. Let's take our twist. So plant the left hand and the right arm. Hand inside the foot, and to push back to your down dog. So do the same thing to the other side. Left leg lifts. Come forward, knee towards your chest. Send the leg up. Bring it around the side, come up towards the elbow. Another big squeeze to lift the knee higher. And then a big step forward. Remembering that you can always come down to your knee if you choose, or keep it off the ground. Moment to adjust here. Spreads. Swing your thigh for a little bit. Then pulling back, straightening the front leg as much as you can, but you can still keep the bend in that knee. Especially if it means that we're then not needing to round up through the spine. So make sure you can breathe, always focusing on an easy flow of breath. And then we'll bend to that front knee again, plug the right hand and send the left arm high. Hold for a breath. Hand comes down and step back to your down dog. You can hold it still or you can just feel on the spot. Stick your tailbone up. So long through the spine, broad across the collarbones. And then drop your knees to the floor, bring them a bit wider, bring your toes together, slide your hips back. Arms out stretched or raise your head to the back of your hands. Or bring your forehead to the ground if you can. Just a few breaths here. When you come to a seated position, you're ready to come out. <coughs> Stand along if you want. And then when you're ready, soles of the feet together, knees wide. Hands come behind, shoulders broad, knees drop down and out. Breathe from down in the belly all the way up to your chest. Then tipping forward from hips, holding onto shins, or grabbing your feet, leaning forward from the hips, so make sure that we're not bunching up in the belly, we're keeping the torso really long, pitching forward from the pelvis. Make sure your head feels good so the neck is still long, not dropping your head.
and then send one leg out long and the other foot comes to your inner thighs. Reaching out towards the long leg, hands on the side. Doesn't matter how far or how close you get to it. Just ease your way in. Know where your limits are. So once you find that deep stretch up the back of the leg or even somewhere around the hips. Let's check in with the breath again. Bring the hands inside the leg and open to a side stretch. Just turn that top shoulder open. Now the top hand comes by your hip and push your hips off. Drive down into the foot that's bent under you. Roll your top shoulder open. Stretch from your toes up the long leg, up your side body, out to fingertips. Hold for one more deep breath in. And we'll slowly lower down with the up breath. Return to centre, centre. Soles of the feet together. Knees out wide, hands behind, and a deep breath in. Coming forward with the out breath. Long but also a little relaxed at ease. We will come to the other side so the other leg extends out long, which is one you did last time. Check your alignment first, so we're sitting up tall from the hips to ribs, shoulders, head. And start to shift forward over the long leg. You choose up now. Notice what you feel on this side if you're feeling stretched in the same places or something different. the inside and rotate the body open for a side stretch. Yep. Okay. And from the spot right into the hip and push up. Rotate your body open to one long line, visualize it from your foot up to your fingertips. Pushing the ground away from you, get even more lift. We'll hold for another deep breath in and come out slowly with your out breath. And this time we'll come all the way down onto our backs. As we started, your knees went up feet to the floor, arms just to the sides of your body, and then drop your knees over to one side, and just stay there. Focus attention on your breath again. knees over to the other side. Just breathe. Keep your arms at your sides. Just bring your knees up to your feet float up. Floor, and then drop legs over to one side, 
flex down. Slowly moving through center and coming over to the other side. Finally finishing in a neutral position, so that would be as we started with feet flat, knees bent up, or you might prefer feet together, knees wide, just sits into your body, and what feels right to you, especially if there's any discomfort in your lower back or hips, then choose another position. Arms at your sides or hands on your belly, or one hand on your belly, one on your chest, whatever works for you. So just here for a couple of minutes. So this is about focusing attention here. So we're not just drifting off. We're not letting the mind overthink anything. It's just a time to reconnect, be present, be aware of what's here, feeling into your body, connected to your breath. Even your surroundings, if you can hear some sounds in the distance, there's the gentle hums traffic. Just take it all in as part of the experience and see if you observe. Just for another minute or so. Attention again to your breathing. An easy flow of breath. Feel the way it moves in the body. Feels good to bring in some movement again, like the start of the hands, to be circling your wrists, wriggling the wrists and the thumbs. Straighten your elbows, and reach arms, every feet on the ground above you. You can slide one leg along and then the other, blinking your toes away. And flexing your feet. Gathering these to your chest and turning over to come back into a seated position and we can finish here together. And finishing with one more together. Arms um, sweep wide and high. Connect to the top and down your center to your heart space. 
Thank you so much for joining me.